This is a whole new way to play the classic drawing and guessing game. Hi, I'm Laurie from TTPM, here with Mattel's Pictionary Air. The object of the game is still the same, to get your teammates to guess what you're drawing. But how you draw is a little different. Uh, a puppet. <laughs> a glove. Before I show you, make sure to click subscribe below so you can always find the hottest new games for your next game night. The pen in this version is a special light pen that draws in the air. And the drawing surface is a mobile device that shows what the pen is doing through the free Pictionary Air app. It's iOS and Android compatible. You play the game in rounds, and the first team to start will select a picturist, or someone who will sketch first. The picturist draws a clue card, and while standing in front of the mobile device, uses the special pen to draw the five clues, one at a time, in the air while his teammates guess. Dump truck. Dump uh -huh. truck. Uh -huh. The clues don't have to be drawn in exact order, so do ones that you think are easiest first. The picturist can't see what his drawing actually looks like, but his teammates can because they'll be pointing the in-app camera at the picturist to see him appear on screen alongside his sketch. Because of this, the picturist might get confused and want to restart his sketch. In that case, he just says clear, and the device holder clears the screen. Skip it. If the team guesses correctly, the teammate holding the device scores it on the app. Each correct guess is worth one point. A shield. Sword and shield? It's a shield. Shield. When time is up or all five clues have been guessed, it's the next team's turn to sketch and guess. After the final round of play, the team with the most points wins. If you want to play the game in a bigger way, you can cast the gameplay onto your TV using a streaming device that is compatible with your mobile device. Let me just be very clear that if you are an Apple user and you do not have an Apple TV or an HDMI cable, you won't be able to do that. For Android users, you need Roku, Chromecast, Smart TV, or HDMI cable. More options there. That's why I've got an Android. Which operating system do you use? Tell me in the comments. The app also includes options for adjusting the number of rounds and the timer if you want to make the game easier or more challenging depending on the age of the players. This is a game for 8 and up. You can also record and share drawing performances using the app to relive some of the funniest moments from your game night. And there's also a selfie mode that allows you to draw without time limits or rounds. The game comes with a pen, 112 clue cards, a card box, and one AA battery. This plays like the classic version, Draw and Guess, but it brings the paper and pen game into the digital age. I've always been a fan of Pictionary, and here's why I think this will be fun for fans of the original version. The pros are that it's the same fun gameplay, but drawing in the air ups the chance that silly and zany things will happen. While I definitely think that's a pro, it could also be a con to some players. There may be a learning curve to the drawing experience, especially for younger players. Also, screencasting for Apple users is not so easy, but I still give this game four stars. For where to buy in current prices, visit TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channels for more reviews every day.